Well, good morning, Eagles fans. It is the morning after Super Bowl 57, where the Philadelphia Eagles almost beat the Kansas City Chiefs, but almost will not win you the Lombardi Trophy. Uh, final score of 38-35, Kansas City. And what was for three quarters and probably until five minutes in the fourth quarter, this was a really, really good Super Bowl, no matter which way you put it. Last five minutes, they kind of felt like, you know, the Chiefs could have just done anything they wanted to. And I, like I said in the reaction video I posted last night, by the way, I'm not taking that down. I'm not scared of any one of y'all. Um, in that video, I mentioned how whoever has the ball last wins this game. And... One of the statistics that popped up was any, any team that has won the coin toss loses the game. Because in most cases, the team that loses the coin toss gets the ball last in a game in some cases. But of course, that didn't happen. And really, it should not have come down to a statistic like that. I mean, normally you want your team to put an exclamation point on the game and... I will say this, even with the one fumble that Jalen Hurts had, this game was not his fault for losing. He played the way he could have. He put the offense on his back. He ran the ball as he could. He got a crucial two-point conversion, but it shouldn't have come down to any of that. It should not come to this game being that close because the game... The reason we lost, and we'll get to the penalty, but the penalty shouldn't have been the way it was. But this ultimately came down to the Eagles' defense basically just letting Mahomes do whatever. It pretty much felt like that, especially in the second half. Like, I don't know, I don't know what Philadelphia's defense was thinking because it's just amazing to me how every time Kansas City scored, there was a dude before the ball snap was wide open. I, I just I just don't know how schematically you let that happen before the ball snaps. Like that is this game we lost is all on one man and Jonathan Gannon. I have said this last year and I said it again. Jonathan Gannon. People say he's smart. People say that he is some defensive guru. Where, where was he? Where was that version of Jonathan Cannon that seemed like a defensive guru? Where was the defense from, la from the two weeks ago when we played the 49ers? Where was that defense? Because the defense I saw last night, clearly it, it wasn't the same one. And interestingly enough, the games this year that Philadelphia lost, most of them came from at any point in time there was a turnover. And fortunately, Philadelphia only had one turnover. They almost had two because they almost lost the ball in the second one. The first one, Hurts had it and completely just dropped it. Which, even if that happened, you were still in the game by, like, what, seven points? So it wasn't a game-altering call, but the, the team that makes the least mistakes wins games like this. And unfortunately, Kansas City was the one that made the least amount of mistakes. I'll give him that. And props to Patrick Holmes for, you know, being able to basically just do what he wanted to. I mean, in the fourth quarter, the defense just simply could not stop Mahomes in anything he was doing. And a comment I was seeing earlier this morning when I was reading through the comments of the reaction video that I posted... Everyone's saying, oh, the Eagles got exposed. Oh, the Eagles got exposed for facing finally an elite quarterback. And while I would like to sit here and say all of y'all, y'all's teams would not have fared any better, I will say the 49ers defense maybe would have fared better because they all around were a stacked defense. They pretty much were. And they probably would have fared a little bit better than the Chiefs. But... At the same time, it does feel like Philadelphia's defense got exposed. And I'm not afraid to admit we did get exposed. Because all year we faced 
I will say, we faced some soft teams, but we got the job done. I mean, what do you want Philadelphia to do? You want Philadelphia to lose those games? And be like, oh, y'all can't beat anybody. Like, you can't... Someone said this to me, and it's, you can't please everyone. And there are some people you just simply will never please. So, um, but, you know, this is why I also said, thank goodness we won the Super Bowl five years ago, because if... We lost that one, and we lost this one. This would have felt more painful because it would just been you're simply chasing something that you're never going to be able to get. And finally, we got one. So, but uh, yeah, I'm still feeling a little bit sad, but I'm not full on sad. I feel like the Eagles' offense was not the problem, but Jonathan Gannon. Why? Why, man? And then the. The, the penalty at the end, I mean, I saw it later where James Badbury said he did held him, you know, and it, it, even though in that spot, I would not, I would have just let it play out. I simply would have just let the players play it out, and if it was holding, you call it back, but even with that, I mean, there's no telling if Philadelphia would have had enough time to score again. It just would not have been any telling, but with that being said, uh, yeah, this is an Eagles fan trying to think about what happened last night. And, uh, for any of you who watched any of the videos or any of the shorts or any of the community posts this past season, I just want to say thank you all for your support. Um, even if this, uh, even if this video gets little to no retention, doesn't matter. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched, everyone who subscribed, everyone who watched any bit of this content, um, when I started this channel last year, back in January 2022, I did not think that we would have any kind of success here on this channel, but we have passed 365 subscribers, so that's pretty convenient. Um, but uh, yes, thank you all for your support, and uh, hopefully we have a better uh, NFL season. Um, and also, I know I got the punishment, so the punishment will be coming. So thank you all for watching this, and I will see you all in the next one.